YouTube, it's Mama Dodon. Baby Fun Charlotte is right down here. I guess she wants to be up. She's got something to show you guys. A whisk. Do you have a whisk to show them? So cool. And a goldfish cracker in your mouth. And it is the end of March, which means it is time for my March budget recap. Talking about what I spent, whether or not I stuck to budget, and how much debt I paid off this month. Yes. You're going to tell them about it? <laughs> so March was a really rough month financially. I had so many unexpected things come up this month and at the end of the month I was actually over budget. But let's talk about exactly what I spent. Every single month I always have a few expenses that stay the same. So we're going to go ahead and talk about those first. My rent was $1,100. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. My personal loan payment, the minimum payment on it was $310. The minimum payment on my credit card was $200. My Smile Direct Club payment was $100. And my internet payment was $50. I had $100 put away into my emergency fund. I had $125 put towards my furniture loan. My cell phone bill was $135. Payment was $300. My electricity, I usually have $60 budgeted in, but it came at $30 this month, so I was under budget on electricity. Okay, so now let's talk about all of my unexpected expenses, and there were a lot this month. So usually I have $40 a month set aside for laundry, um, and this month I went ahead and bought a portable washing machine. I got the protection plan as well, so if anything happens to it within two years, I'll get another one for free. That was like 20 bucks. And then the cost of the machine was actually more than I thought it was because I didn't account for shipping. So I had $80 budgeted for that and that came to 125 total. I still felt like it was a good investment because within three months, I'm gonna, it's gonna pay for itself. So I did go ahead and purchase a portable washing machine for $125. For my cats, I have $60 budgeted each month. But this month I spent $75 and part of that was I bought a bulk large bag of dry food which will last us about three months so that should even out over the next few months and I also found really cheap cat litter that I went ahead and purchased a couple extra bags of because it was at a price that I didn't think I was going to find anymore at that price in the near future. So I stocked up on that. So I went slightly over budget but the next couple months I should be under budget because I went over budget this month. Oh my goodness. And Charlotte is just gonna make sure that she gets her voice heard in this one. So for fuel, I had $50 budgeted and I spent 25 at the beginning of the month and that's all I spent on fuel. But added in with my fuel budget, I put in tolls because I had a surprise tolls bill arrive that I thought I had paid prior, but I guess not. There was late fees associated with it. So I had to spend $15 on paying off some toll late fees that I thought I paid, but I guess I did not. I had $20 budgeted for Charlotte's dad's birthday so we could get him a gift. And we did spend that $20 getting him a gift. I was trying to do a grocery no buy this month where I didn't buy any groceries throughout the month. Um, with that being said, a few different things came up. So I spent $30. Okay, so I had $75 budgeted for groceries anyways, just in case my grocery no buy wasn't successful. But I ended up overspending that $75 even. So I had, at the very beginning of the month, I went out and I got a few things that I knew I was going to need. I spent $30. I got toilet paper, eggs, creamer, and then let's see here. I also, in my grocery budget, because it's kind of like a household budget too, I had to go out and get a $10 like electric extension cord to go with my washer that I purchased because it wouldn't reach the cord that I needed it to. At the end of the month, I spent another $30 on groceries and this was for soap. I bought bulk like soap bars and some milk and some other things that I just needed near the end of the month to get me through. And then uh, on the 25th, I had been like really sick, like a fever, vomiting, 
like runny nose, eyes, everything for three days. And then on the 25th, I just caved. I didn't want to cook anything. And I spent $30 on a pizza, which ended up having me go over on my grocery budget. I think I spent $80 total on groceries when I was trying not to spend anything this month. And it was just a really bad month to go over on groceries because I had a lot of other unexpected expenses as well. So for Charlotte's budget, I had $150 set aside and that was not enough this month. So I said that I was going to spend $30 on clothes for her and I did go out and I got clothes for her, but I don't know what, I just totally went overboard on the clothes at the thrift shop. They had a really good deal going on. Everything was super cheap. So I ended up spending, so one day I spent $10 and then another day I spent $50. It was $60 total just on clothes for her. Um, then I had just a few little purchases. At the beginning of the month, I spent $55 on formula and like some baby foods that she needed, cereal, yogurt, things that I specifically buy for her that go into her baby budget. Then I had another $45 go into her baby budget and this was for, again, just more things, formula and stuff that she needed, some cereals, things that just she would use that I had in her budget. And then I had uh, a medical bill. So at the end of the month, I had a $140 medical bill come up that I was not expecting. And I had another $50 medical bill earlier in the month. The thing with the one at the end of the month is I used all my freelance money to just go ahead and pay off a portion of my credit cards thinking I wasn't going to have any more unexpected expenses come up. And then on the very end of the month, like one day after I paid off my credit cards, I had this $140 medical bill come up. So I had to pay that and that put me over budget this month. It like had to come out of next month's budget. So I'm going to have to make that up somewhere. I also needed to get a retainer for my teeth, which cost me $100 because they're starting to move too much. They're not staying where they need to. So I had to purchase a retainer before they got too bad that the retainer wouldn't fit. So that was a hundred bucks. And then I had kids come to my door selling these little like gift card things for their school. It's called a spirit card and you basically purchase it and then you get deals off at a bunch of local like restaurants and things, things that I'm not spending money on anyways. but. Whenever kids come selling things for school, I'm just really bad. Like I will purchase something from them. So I spent $20 on that spirit card. And Charlotte is back. So there, I mean, I was just over budget on so many things this month. I hate even looking at my budget page because it's like, I did not stick to that budget at all. It was just so bad this month. And I ended up spending like $4,000 and I had 3000 budgeted and I only made like $600 in freelance. So I'm in the red, 400 bucks this month, which is just not where I wanted to be. Um, and that all came out of next month. So I'm just gonna have to work really hard next month to kind of even that out. And ideally I'll be able to do that instead of dipping into my emergency fund again to even everything out. It's just so frustrating. So there were a very few financial wins that helped me out somewhat this month. I won a $10 gift certificate to Once Upon a Child, which is a thrift shop um, for children's clothing, which actually worked with me being able to buy clothing for Charlotte. Um, and I won that. Basically, they asked to post a picture of your Valentine's Day on Facebook on their post. And I posted a picture of Charlotte and I on Valentine's Day and we won. So that was pretty cool. I was also able to use Amazon credit card rewards to purchase um, some markers for Charlotte, which she really loves and kept her entertained, which was great. And I really wanted to get those because I write my planners every single day for about an hour a day. I have all these planners that I fill out and Charlotte always wants to take the pens and write too. So I just got her these non-toxic plant-based baby safe markers and now she can write in her little notebook while I write in my planners. So that's kind of fun. And then I also was able to use um, my TJ Maxx rewards credit card, the rewards that I had on that to purchase coffee. So I do still use my credit cards and then use the rewards um, throughout the month and I just pay them off 100% which I know isn't part of the Dave Ramsey plan, and there's a lot of people who would actively uh, be against that, but that is something that I am doing. And it's paying off currently because the rewards are 
helping me get a few extra things each month that I otherwise would not be able to afford. Okay, so now let's talk about my debts because I was still able to pay off debt this month. We'll talk about that in a minute. This month and I just automatically put that towards credit cards instead of waiting till the end of the month to see if unexpected expenses came up. And that kind of bit me in the butt ultimately because I did have a lot of unexpected expenses come up and I could have used that to kind of cash flow those. But instead it went towards paying off debt, so that's what happened. So we will go over my debt totals now. So for my credit card, I started out at 2,300. I ended the month at 1,650. For my furniture loan, I started out at 2,550. I ended the month at 2,425. My Smile Direct Club payment started out at $800. It is now down to 700. My personal business loan started out at 5,400. It is now down to 5,200. And the loan to my father started out at 4,700. It is now down to 4,690, which is only $10. And that is because he gave me things to sell. I sold one of the things and then the total for that item went towards paying off debt. So that's the only reason that that was paid off a little bit. Otherwise I am holding off on paying off my father until my interest concurring loans are completely paid off. So this month, my debt total started out at $15,750. At the end of the month, it was $14,665. That means this month I was able to put $1,085 towards debt. I'm really excited to be where I'm at right now um, financially with my debt payoff. I started out at $20,000. I'm now down to like the $14,000 range. So I've paid off a little over $5,000 a debt, which is awesome. But this month was definitely one of my tougher months since I got super serious about my debt because I felt like every little thing that came up and every stupid financial decision that I made, it seemed small at the time, like $20 on pizza and overspending $30 on clothes for Charlotte and little medical bills and tolls and everything like that. It didn't seem like a big deal when it was happening, but at the end of the month when I added it all up and realized that I was essentially over budget a thousand dollars this month on what I'd spent. It was a really hard hit in the gut. So next month I'm really gonna buckle down and try really hard to stay on budget. I realized that a lot of these expenses couldn't be avoided, like medical bills and tolls and things like that. I couldn't really have avoided that. But um, for just little times when I overspent when I shouldn't have, I'm gonna try really hard not to do that next month. And it does suck that I'm at a place financially right now where I, even when I am sick and I can't cook, ordering pizza is setting me back. You know, I want to be at a place financially and it just motivates me further to get out of debt to where I can purchase that pizza and not worry about it hitting me at the end of the month that I purchased a pizza when my temperature was 102 and I was taking care of a baby alone and I just didn't want to cook dinner. You know, for that to have to be a choice that I'm making um, to put myself in the red over a situation like that is just really, it hits you hard when you take a moment to realize that you're in that position. And it also just really made me realize that getting out of debt is going to make my life so much better in so many ways. And just those little moments like that not happening in the future is worth really trying to stick to budget right now and making sure that I can pay off this debt as fast as I can. So yeah, that was my recap for March. Um, I will be posting my financial goals, my budget for April here soon. So if you're interested in watching those videos, come back within the next week. Those videos should be up. As always, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.